someone who has finished preparing for UGC NET English and is on his revision stage? If yes, then this might be an opportunity to ask you if you have covered all major essays that are important from NET point of view. If you are wondering what to answer, watch this video till the end to find out all important essays and essays that are frequently asked in NET exam and you might have missed putting it in your notes. Hello friends, my name is Arpita Karwa and you are on your favorite YouTube channel wherein you get videos to prepare for UGC NET examination. Today I'm going to talk about 8 important essays that UGC NET English students fail to cover. What I've noticed is that students tend to stick to important topics like William Shakespeare, Wordsworth and other important topics which all guidebooks and mentors talk about. But you should not forget that about 25 to 30 percent of the questions in the exam come from tricky areas which students generally forget to cover. Here in this video, we shall cover one such high weightage area and discuss eight frequently asked essays to make sure that your preparation is so top notch that you are ready to tackle UGC NET exam really well. So guys, the first essayist we are going to talk about is George Eliot. Always remember that she was a woman writing under a man's name. Along with amazing novels, she published a very important essay called Silly Novels by Lady Novelist. Now, as I told you that the name itself signifies that she is criticizing the novels written by other female writers during the time. She called them mind and millinery novels, means novels which have a very cliche plot, a very beautiful woman falling in love with a very handsome man and they are going to get married and live happily ever after. Now you tell me, real life mein aisa sab perfect hota hai kya? No, right? This is exactly what George Eliot said in this particular essay. She said that such novels do not depict the society correctly. They are not even a true depiction of Victorian society. Another important point that she made in the essay was regarding female education. At that time, very few women were educated and those who were they were writing such shitty novels. Through this essay, George Eliot tried to urge the female writers to write on important topics so that they all get the recognition that they deserve. Friends, the next writer is Edward Gibbon. He wrote one very, very important essay. It is called The Decline and Fall of Roman Empire. It talked about the history of Romans and the spread of Christianity. Please remember that this essay was written in six books. If you look at the previous year papers, you will be shocked to see that this question has been asked multiple times in UGC NET exam, wherein they have asked you to write number of books in which the decline and fall of Roman Empire is divided. And the correct answer is six. Because of this work, Mr. Gibbon is also given the title of Modern Historians of Ancient Rome. He was fondly called by this title throughout his life. Friends, the next important author is Giambattista Vico. He was an Italian writer. He wrote an important essay called New Science. It was about different civilization and the features and characteristics of these civilizations. One very important thing. This essay has 114 maxims. This number is huge, right? For those of you who don't know what a maxim is, Maxims are basically statements that show moral conduct. Like, honesty is the best policy, this is a maxim. In recent UGC NET exam, this question was asked as to who wrote the famous essay, New Science. And the answer is Giambattista Vico. So please remember the name and the essay's name. In this essay, Vico says that humanity can be divided in three periods. Period of God, period of heroes and period of man. And then he went on to describe these three periods. Friends, another interesting discovery made by him was that according to him, the famous works Iliad and Odyssey, which was said to be written by Homer, was actually written by a large number of writers in collaboration. So Vico said that these two important works, that is Iliad and Odyssey, cannot be contributed to just one person, that is Homer. Friends, the next writer we are going to talk about is John Calvin. He is responsible for being the father of another branch of Christianity known as Calvinism. He wrote an important essay called Predestination in Free Will. Now the content of this essay are a little off. 
अकॉर्डिंग टू हिम हम सब जब पैदा हुए तब से हम सब पापी हैं गॉड और जीजस क्राइस्ट पहले ही चूज कर लेते हैं कि किन लोगों को सेल्वेशन या मोक्ष देना है और बाकी सबको पनिशमेंट देना है आई मीन इफ दिस इज द केस देन हमारी मर्जी तो काम की नहीं है वट एवर वी डू वट एवर वी माइट डू एक्ट से ऑलरेडी भगवान ने डिसाइड कर लिया है कि हम में से किन को सेल्वेशन मिलना है और किन को पनिशमेंट मिलनी है एंड देर फोर हमारा फ्री विल है ही नहीं सो आई पर्सनली डोंट लाइक द आइडिया दैट दिस पर्सन हैज स्पोकन अबाउट इन दिस वर्क बट वी कॉन्ट रियली डू अबाउट इट इन लिटरेचर वी हैव टू रिस्पेक्ट ऑल आइडियोलॉजीज एनी वे मूविंग हाइड द नेक्स्ट राइटर इज आर फेवरेट जॉन मिल्टन ही रोट एन इम्पॉर्टेंट ऐसे कॉल्ड एरो पेजिटिका सो दिस ऐसे वॉज ऑल्सो इन द फॉर्म ऑफ स्पीच विच वॉज गिवन टू द ब्रिटिश पार्लियामेंट नाउ यू विल आज की स्पीच का मुद्दा क्या था एजेंडा क्या था फ्रेंड्स बेसिकली ड्यूरिंग मिल्टन्स टाइम द गवर्नमेंट इंट्रोड्यूस्ड अ लाइसेंसिंग एंड सेंसरशिप एक्ट अकॉर्डिंग टू दिस एक्ट एवरी पीस ऑफ लिटरेचर विल हैव टू बी स्क्रूटनाइज बिफोर पब्लिशिंग एंड मिल्टन इन दिस ऐसे opposed the licensing and censorship act he said that if you follow such strict rules no new ideas will be published it will limit the creative freedom of writers and press which is not good he said that any good book will not be able to get published because it may have something or the other objectionable in fact the writers and press won't be able to write anything against the government means the writers won't be able to depict the society in the truest and fairest of the means isn't it revolutionary to have someone talking about such important uh, historic and political events right friends the next writer is called richard hooker his important essay is called laws of ecclesiastical polity this essay was published in eight parts it talked about the proper governance of the church friends at that time roman catholic church was the main church and the pope who was the head of the roman church used to be the head of all the countries and states in fact the kings were subordinate to the pope and often the pope would interfere within the matters of the country during the reign of king henry the 8th england said goodbye to roman catholic church and they made their own church named it anglican church now the head of this church was of course the king or the monarch of england and hooker supported the idea that monarch should be the head of the church in this particular essay moving on the last writer is thomas carlyle he wrote a famous essay called sartre resartus the english name of this is taylor retailored yes yes you're right this is somewhat related to clothing it is also the biography of diogenes and an autobiography of thomas carlyle can you understand biography of a person a greek philosopher named diogenes and an autobiography of thomas carlyle himself friends there are three parts in this essay in part 1 he talks about the history and philosophy of clothing in entire england in the second part he talks about diogenes biography and the third part is about a very interesting concept it is called everlasting yes and everlasting no fun task i'm eager to know how many of my youtube subscribers know about this term everlasting yes and everlasting no if you are intelligent enough to know it then don't forget to put it in the comments below and i'll be very happy to read what you have to say and with this note we have reached to the end of this lecture do hit the like button and share it with your friends friends if you want detailed information about all these writers that i just spoke about you can join my ugc net online course on arpatakarwa.com we also have a very special mock test series for ugc net english aspirants where we are providing 75 plus unit wise and chapter wise mock test that will boost your confidence during the exam dates i have mentioned the details about all my courses in the description box below so don't forget to check it out If you want me to make more videos on any of these topics please comment below and I will promise that I will bring the best on the table you can also become part of my whatsapp family wherein i share all the important videos updates questions and study tips with the community members you just have to shoot a message on my whatsapp 
That's it from my side for this lecture. We will meet soon in the next lecture. Till the time we meet next, happy learning, keep loving literature and stay tuned to arpatakarva.com.